guys, we are back for another Dokkan Battle video, and we are one day until the 8th anniversary. Um, at the time I put this video up, it's only going to be maybe like 12 hours or so until the live stream. Um, and then the anniversary actually only starts just a few hours after the live stream itself. So uh, all of this stuff is going to be happening tonight, essentially, which is going to be very, very fun. Um, so... Kind of the main theme of the anniversary, right, is the Spirit Bombs right here. So we have, you know, the end of GT Spirit Bomb and the end of Dragon Ball Z Spirit Bomb. Essentially, these are the two anniversary units. Um, thinking upon it quite a bit, I actually do really like the theme going here. Um, I mean, it, it, Dokkan apparently, dude, it seems like they have plans years down the line. So the game is going on for quite a while, it seems. So doing themed stuff like this certainly does work. We still have plenty of time. For Vegito and Gogeta to take control of future anniversaries and stuff like this. So I think I do like this. This card in particular, I've mentioned this before. Uh, this unit right here is one of the first times I kind of started to get traction on YouTube. Is when this guy originally came out at the end of 2017. Um, this was before people did like early showcases and stuff like that, right? So it's like I had one of the first showcases for this guy up. And it was just me finding him on the friends list, right? At the time, it was very uncommon um, for people to have had a thousand days logged in, right? Even a, a lot of people in our community, right? If they started playing GP, I don't think there's too many people, you know, at least again in our community, who have are you know not in Japan who have accounts that predate the first anniversary, right? So um, that I guess is something to sort of keep in mind. Um, I guess let's just jump in. So, we are, of course, going to fight Omega. Um, you know, the, the two characters that are fought with the Spirit Bombs are Kid Buu and Omega. Omega does have a red zone stage. I've been dying in these showcases quite a bit, so I do want to get a W here if possible. So, I brought the last three characters are here to carry us. I was going to use DBZ Bardock, but I'm actually pretty annoyed right now. Um, apparently, because, I guess, JP Anniversary is coming up, uh, people have busted out bots again. Um, you could clearly tell if you take a look right at the friends list here. You, there's just a lot of, like, a lot of the dev friends are now shit like this, right? So, like, people have gotten the bots back out, which is very annoying. If you're going to use the top characters in the game, sure, you're fine. But, like, if you want to use, like, Yamcha or DBZ Bardock or something like that, well, tough titties. Because people, you know, want to be selfish and they want to bot and they want to, you know, oh, let's, let's summon... On the anniversary banners? Oh my god, I had so much fun. And I'm done with the account. Okay, cool. So now there's just dead fish level 1 Kaioken Goku's filling up the friends list, right? Selfish, ignorant behavior. I can't stand that, man. Ruining the friend system. Because these dev friends... Dude, these dev friends, like this system, actually was pretty good, right? For using characters like Yamcha, DBZ Bardock, right? Like these are units that people, even on JP, didn't really summon for that much, right? It's difficult to find these guys on the friends list. And well, now it's even harder, right? Very good, very good. So let's jump in. Uh, we got to use Yamcha because I, I, there's no DBZ Bardocks on the friends list for me, you know? Tough, right? What am I going to do, cry about it all day? So here we go. Um, I really would like to get a W here as well. We have some pretty awful opening rotations, it looks like. Is that double Yamcha in the second turn, I think? Yeah. Um... Okay, let's let's see how we do. Uh, I, again, I do want to win. A lot of these showcases, these, like, anniversary showcases I've been doing, we have been getting cooked. So, this right here, this is the Goku family buffing support memory. The problem here is that these two Spirit Bomb... Like, like the this guy right here is, like, not that bad. Funny enough, I actually just got him. I'm at, I'm at like, day 2060 or something like that for my login for my account. So, I, I, you know, fairly recently got this guy within the last couple of months here. Um, He could be okay. Of course, this Goku is just a complete fish out here. I mean, this guy got his EZA and came out during the fourth anniversary, you know, four years ago now. So, I mean, you, you just can't. I expect a character like this to come in here against Omega and do anything. Uh, we need to hide him as much as possible. Um, all right, let, let's see how we do. Um, looks like, <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, we're not going to be able to get a stack in for Carnival Goku. Um, Thousand Day Goku, we're going to get his 12 key super attack, which can be pretty good. Uh, Thousand Day Goku's 12 key super attack gives a two turn defensive buff. Which can actually be pretty good, right? You know, so our defense on this next rotation will be a little bit stronger. 
I'm not really a huge fan of having double. Um, actually, Gohan could stun him. A, a stun would be really helpful to allow us to get set up. Yeah, okay, of course. Um, a stun would have been really helpful to allow us to get set up, you know, sort of like moving forward. The good news is that we, if we reach the Omega at the end, um, we do know that that Omega towards the end, we don't really have to worry about as much. That sucks. Ah, uh, the first attack. So th this is going to hit Carnival Goku quite hard. No stacks, no extra defensive buff. Oh, no, no, okay. Oh, Gohan did lower his attack, didn't he? Okay. Yeah, Carnival Goku ate that reasonably fine. I'm, I'm not I'm not upset about that whatsoever. Okay, pretty good, pretty good, pretty good. Um, let's go ahead and drop this right there. Bam. That gives us a two-turn defensive buff, 43k. Okay. Just, dude, just dreadful rotations. <laughs> Look at this. What am I supposed to do, man? So, here's where our problem becomes. I guess that, the, you know, now that I'm, I'm already a turn deep in here, there is no daily limits on these red zone stages right now. I, I probably should do a short on that or something. But there's no daily limit on these red zone stages, man. So, it's like, I guess I actually probably could have ensured... I mean, now that we've already started, I'm just going to keep it going. But, you know, you can now just back out infinite times and there's no limit anymore, right? I assume... So, they asked Amatsu at this, um, at the fan meetup, and he said that they didn't really have plans on getting rid of these limits, but he said perhaps for special celebrations. If, if during the 8th anniversary they're going to take away the daily limits, but then put it back up after the anniversary, I don't really have an issue with that. I mean, we'll see how things are going to play out. I don't really had, I didn't, Thinking upon it a lot, I don't have too much of a problem with the, the red zone daily limits because the whole game is RNG, right? Like, if you could just reload until you get perfect rotations and you effortlessly beat it, right? Like, everything, the difficulty just goes way down, right? i talked about it a lot. This this is one of those examples people have mentioned of artificial difficulty would be sort of making these daily limits. But, I mean, this is a one-player, you know, game, like, going up against the AI like this. It, with perfect rotation, perfect RNG, like, yeah, we're going to win. That's, that's how it's going to go. I'm going to do this, and then we'll probably double item um, on the next turn. Uh, let, let's just see if we can make it through here. As long as Yamcha doesn't get with a super attack, we should be good. Uh, dude, dodge. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Thanks, you piece of shit. <laughs> My God, Yamcha. All right, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. All right, now hopefully Yamcha can cook like crazy. Give us at least three super attacks. Okay, or do that. All right, that's good. That's good. That's good. The thing with me and this Yamcha, man, I do tend to get pretty poor luck with my Yamcha, I've noticed. Additionals and dodges, I usually don't do too great. Yamcha really, like, they did design him poorly. His every super attack dodge buff that he gets. Don't super, don't super, don't super. Okay, we're good. Um, it really should just be a stack. Like, it should stack onto his normal dodge chance. It, it, the way he's designed, it almost feels like that's the way it was intended. Okay, that's good. Nice. All right, so we'll be able to get through this first phase right here, um, without really worrying about anything too much more. Pretty good, pretty good. And again, on the, on this next turn, I will use items, um, so we can, because we're going to have double, whatchamacallit. Did you lock him out of, out of here? You did. That sucks. Are you kidding? Dude, what? Why? No. Come on. That's not that's not funny. That's no, no, we we didn't enjoy that. Let's do this. Piece of shit. We'll we'll save uh Path to Power Goku's active. Alright, this puts us in a bit of a precarious spot though. Well I guess I am gonna use a double wees, right? So on this literal next turn right here, we're gonna double wees. Um, just so I could, you know, kind of get the, the Goku spread out. It's the Spirit Bomb Goku, the GT Goku. He is the real weak link that I need to push away. Really love when Gohan does normal attacks, by the way. That's awesome. And doesn't build up as passive. It, amazing unit design. Um, We're going to do exactly this. Yep. We're going to double East right here. This should carry us through Sin. Th this should get us through the Sin portion of this fight. We have a lot of orbs available to us right here. Um, we'll just go ahead and give Goku this. Remember, Goku heals, right, per orb. Eh, not that much, but he does heal a little bit. And we could just do this. Um, that GT Goku, again, he's the worst unit on the team by far. Yamcha dodge, dude. Goddamn fraud. I don't know. Maybe I need to uh, drop Yamcha down. Is Yamcha really better than Blue Gogeta, man? Uh, when he's performing like this, the answer is hell no. 
Look, dude. This Yamcha's killing me in this one. <laughs> Come on. Ah. Uh. It, it's because, remember, when he dodges, he gets one of his additionals. So, it's like we get a turn like that, and it's just very unfortunate. We have double East up, so we are fine. Yep. Uh, that would have been GG. This Spirit Bomb Goku, he's not capable of tanking that, right? Like, when did this guy... That Spirit Bomb Goku, he came out in, what, July of 2020? Um, it's just like, you know, these red zone stages are not intended for July of 2022 characters to be really tanking. Uh, I'm just going to pop Yamcha's active right here. Let's just drop this on Omega's forehead. Okay. Nice crit. We'll take that. Uh, we could put Gohan and Sawa. Remember, we have a double E sup right here, so we could just maximize Gohan's power. Do keep in mind that Gohan is essentially with his best friend right here, which is uh, Kid Goku. Pop the power Kid Goku is probably the best unit in terms of making uh, Ultimate Gohan look good because he shares a, a lot of their good links together. Um, he is giving the rainbow orb changing. And then, of course, there's the crit and damage reduction support, which can be very good. Nice! No! Oh, my God! Okay, so Gohan has a 50% chance to nullify Key Blast supers. We didn't get that right there. But my Gohan member has a full dodge build. So, we didn't get the nullification, but we did dodge it. <laughs> Perfect. That is, if I didn't, I mean, if I didn't have items... All right, that was a killing shot, by the way. We, we would have died to that. Uh, Omega would have killed us with that. Okay, okay. Um, I, I always do love dodging super attacks. Getting that in the video does add an extra sort of shine for me. I really do like that. Um, keep in mind that every character is in the 200% leader skill on this team, by the way. Except for these two. LR Ultimate Gohan and Path to Power Goku are not on the 200% leader skill. That's kind of the L I had to take um, in not being able to bring DBZ Bardock. But again, the selfish assholes with the bot spamming the bots. And that's what happens, right? The friend system is terrible again. Thank you. Thank you guys so much for the selfishness. I truly appreciate it. I, I hope you're having fun scamming kids out of reroll accounts, man. Farmed reroll accounts should not cost any money at all. Not even one singular cent. Considering using a bot to farm it up. It's ridiculous. Let's blow him out of here with uh, Yamcha. Yamcha, dude. All right. Well, we're just going to restart then. Nope. <laughs> we're not not doing that. I would like to save Yamcha's active skill if possible there. Because remember, um, one of Yamcha's other mechanics he can do is every super attack gives him a 10% chance to dodge. Again, I mentioned it earlier in the video, but it's, it's bad design in that it's a separate proc. And not just stacked on top of his dodge chance. If it just stacked, Yamcha would be so, he would be so good. If it did stack, Yamcha I think would be um, Kid Goku and Gamma level. If it did, if it did stack, because then his he would just be dodging up a up a monsoon, right? He might be too strong, because then at that point, many of these turns he would have ninety percent chance to dodge and shit. Like he he probably would actually just be too good. So, like, I, I get why they didn't do that, but it, it, it's, like, a huge difference, right? Him having it or not having it. Um, okay, well, this is where this Goku is going to help, right? He's going to give us a nice little healing. All right, so I really would like to win. So, let's see how we do here. <sighs> I, I feel like we're going we're gonna to die again. Like, of this, like, seven-day countdown series we've done... We've died in, like, every single one. Okay. I like this. I like... No! Oh, we can use Beast. I know this for a fact. Dude, I, I promise y'all. That last attack right there, that is a countdown. I, I guarantee you guys that's not, not even an attack at the end. So, we're looking pretty good. We probably want Path to Power Kid Go... Ah! Nah, Gohan's at 440. Okay. Um, let's go ahead and use Beast Gohan. Actually, been a little while since I've played this all of a sudden. Yeah, let's do this.
All right, pretty good damage there. Um, Not bad, not bad, not bad. We'll go ahead and rock ultimate Gohan in slot one right here. Um, I am not going to min-max key for ultimate Gohan, because no matter what, we have to do this right here. Get Kid Goku the damage reduction and crit. We can do that. All right. Um, I, We should be good, because we're not going to take damage. Yeah, uh, Ultimate Gohan and Kid Goku are not going to take damage. We know Omega's not super attacking. And I, that that GT Goku at the end, he's not going to take 500k from a normal, right? Uh, if, if it isn't a countdown. Oof. Well, actually, no, we could just kill him. Ultimate Gohan wants to show out for us. Yeah, one more? No, of course. Fraud. Uh, we should be able to win. Oh, no. Actually, this is super good. Because now that I think about it, GT Goku, he'll take damage. But it's not going to be enough to die. Get one-shotted. So what that means is we would just be able to revive instead. Um, if uh, Carnival Goku or Yamcha. Although, we, we could finish him off with those actives. Yeah, we, we're out of here. <gasps> no, we, we can't finish... <laughs> That 1 million attacks that, no, we're not finishing Omega with the 1 million right there. Okay, pretty good. And I, I knew, I knew, I knew, I knew that that was a countdown right there. Okay. Um, let's pop this. Are you done? Oh. Oh. <laughs> All right. Not bad. I'll take the W. Um, see, when you're not scared to use items and support memories, uh, <clears throat> at least getting a W is never actually that tough, right? Uh, it's once you're using these crappy units and you're not using items. I, like, what was the video we did yesterday? We were fighting Baby? I should have used support memory in that one as well. Yeah, Yamcha can cook. Yamcha, very heavy RNG unit, though. And is he going to get his additional supers? Is he dodging? When Yamcha's on, Yamcha's really on, right? So, there we go. Uh, we've completed the seven-day sort of countdown tonight. The anniversary is on. Very exciting. Anniversary LRs look crazy. Events are seeming pretty fun. Seems like the anniversary, like usual, is going to be very, very fire. So, uh, let me know what you guys think um, about the theme of the Spirit Bombs for the anniversary of this year. Uh, thanks, guys, for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time.